There he is. Hello. Look at this guy. It's about time now, though. Oh, I don't even know if I wanted to get on. I was so relaxed after my massage. <laughs> and then Tan or and then uh, Christina made. And Tanny, Tanny, you made something. Oh, uh, <laughs> Christina made chicken curry and then like this apple turnover with like some scoops of ice cream. You know you're gonna want to keep that roommate. Vanilla ice cream. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Away command card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rub them down yeah. and feed them. Yep. Guess what Tenny's doing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys all doing? I started, waiting, leveling a, I started leveling a paladin. I'm waiting for you guys to do a dead run mine with me. I can't tonight. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty late. It just got late. But my paladin will probably be a level by tomorrow. <laughs> it, it's 8 o'clock. It's 11.10. <laughs> Add three to that. <laughs> it's only 8.10. You need to get some West Coast friends. <laughs> yeah, doesn't appear many. As a matter of fact, I don't even think many people. Let's see, somebody's on West Coast. Is it Shock that's on West Coast? No. No. It's, Somebody uh, that's like... No, it's Ashen. Shock Ashen's West Coast. Central, I think. Ashen's definitely on West Coast. Yeah. He's never online, so you know. So he doesn't count. He was started never a, he started an RP character with us last night. Had a couple of people following him. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you roped Tanny into it. Oh yeah. <laughs> nope. We're we're, oh, we're yeah. still waiting for Ashen to run from Lock Modan to the human start zone, so he made from... it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw the pictures he posted from, from Stormwind, so he's there. <laughs> yeah, he made it out of that. He almost died, though. He was down to, like, 18 health. Well, when you only have 20. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So what is this group made up of? Well, I have yeah, a mage age. and a warrior. What are you, Tanny? Three. Shock's a paladin in... Ashen's a mage as well, so I might just stay warrior. You're gonna start a new one? What's that? So you're gonna start a new one? No, I started a new one already. Oh. So I have a mage at like level six and a warrior that's level four. I think I'm gonna play Valheim tonight though. It worked pretty. Ni it worked nicer for them to have a healer. They were, not, you know, they could go off and off. Oh, we almost died a couple of times at that first mine you go to. We start. We kept on getting a respawns. It almost killed us. When you were dueling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it works out nicer with a healer. And then I got so instead of them slowly walking to the healer, I would uh, mob. I would hit the mob with range so that when the mob got to me, then they could take them. Uh, and stock was starting to go a little bit ahead. So as the mob's running to me, he'd smack did them. Did you guys do that last night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when it got to me, no go would smack them, and by that time, two smacks from plate people, they're dead. So the mods would basically get hit three times, one from me and one from each of them, and then boom, dead. Yeah, cause I'm almost, I'm, with, the, with the quest experience I have about to turn in, I'll be close to 16 now. Yeah. 16 and 6 hours played. Right. Six hours, 24 minutes. That's pretty good. That's on the Alliance side? Yeah. Paladin. So, yeah. I was originally, with the whole starter zone and most of Elwyn Forest, I played like a speedrunner. I was pulling mobs to the next mob and 
just let myself get low health until I really had to heal or something. Just finishing up Westfall now. I think it's gonna have me go to Dark Shore next. There's a part of Westfall that I do now.
for me to go to bed. Have a good night, Geese. Have a good night, Geese. <laughs> Sweet I'm going to be following you in just a few minutes. Awesome. I'm following you to your bed. Follow, follow myself. <laughs> That'd be true. We heard what you said. <laughs> yeah, we heard it. Can't unhear what we heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I got a long flight ahead of me then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Night. Are you off to Mystic? Shortly, in a few minutes. Probably about, I just gotta take care of a couple things here in Iron Forge, and then I'm going to bed. I feel really tired. I think I went to bed after midnight sometime, and... I don't know how long after midnight. I just know it was after midnight and then woke up at 5.30. So I'm feeling really tired too. The funny thing is, I'll go to bed, it's gonna be like, you know, I'll be in bed by like 11.45 or so, but I, because I have such a hard time getting to sleep, I'll be up until like 2 a.m. in the morning, probably, watching TV or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or listening to music on my phone. Sounds like you need some allergy pills. <laughs> I take two, I take two Zequa, which is Benadryl. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's Benadryl is what's in, is what's for my allergy. The other night I asked, I went to take Tylenol and I didn't think about it. I ended up taking allergy pills, but I didn't know it. And then I got to my computer and about a half hour later, it's like, well, I think I'm really tired. They really barely it. have any effect on me. I, I never, <laughs> it never puts me to sleep quickly. It, it doesn't because you build up a resistance. So your to your tolerance goes up where yeah. it would take higher and higher, higher dosage in order to work. That's, maybe that's why I only use it, well, I can't stand taking pills, I gag taking pills, so I only take them in dire emergencies. But that time I took it because I was get, starting to get a migraine that was progressing. When Nogo was giving me migraines of Valheim, it wasn't really progressing. No was giving me headaches. <laughs> so, I, well, the t it's so intense. And it was the intensity that was starting to cause mm -hmm. migraine. Yeah. But it wasn't progressing, so I wasn't really concerned. But this time the migraine was starting to progress. I thought I better stop it because I can stop it, but I can't take it yep. away. And so if it gets too bad where it's full blown migraine, I am deathly ill in bed <laughs> and try to go to sleep in pain, right? <laughs> so it was better for. I learned how when I was a little girl, I started getting them about nine or 10 years old, is when I started getting them. I suffered really badly because I didn't know how to prevent them or stop it. And but then somehow I learned how to stop it from progressing, and so now I rarely, rarely get a, a full-blown migraine. I think the last time I had a full-blown migraine was actually a nursing home. Mm. My son suffered from juvenile migraines. Mine, I didn't know it because I've never been officially diagnosed, but I didn't know it until recently looking it up as why is mine just in my left eye and it's mm -hmm. strobe effects can cause it. So some games that whatever causes seizures can cause migraines in me. Mm -hmm. And um, I, so I finally looked it up and found that it's called ocular migraine. Because people would say they're like their left side or their face hurts. It's like no, my or their right side or, it's like no, it's just my eye. It it fe feels like it, it's exploding. The pain is so. But then I'll get the photophobia and the nausea and the, yeah. yeah, and the sweating and the weakness. So I'll get all the symptoms of a migraine, but it's not like a regular migraine. But interestingly, a friend gave me a shot with that, I can't remember the name of the migraine injectable, and it almost instantly took away my migraine. So it works, acts, looks like a migraine, but it's because I guess it might have a different type of trigger, mm -hmm. or different whatever causes migraine. 
Actually, I can't remember what it was for our son, the school nurse used to... He, he was allowed to drink ca caffeinated drinks whenever he had a migraine. Yeah, he had a caffeine in Advil. I can't remember which one it is. I used to have permission in school, I used to keep a, a couple cans of Mountain Dew in there. School nurse, used to keep them in her fridge for him if he had a migraine. My, another thing I used to trigger mine, a, a big light source in my eye will trigger it, but uh, going to the walk-in movies with a dark mm -hmm. dark room, bright screen, yep. used to trigger migraine. So I could never watch TV in the dark, I ha and the light has to be behind me, it can't be in front of my head, it has to be uh. behind my head. My husband works in worked in the ER and he get all these drug seekers looking for for drug release all coming in saying they had migraines while they're laughing and partying in the waiting room. But if they're laughing and partying in the waiting room, they do not have a migraine. It is so debilitating. I had a friend tell me her husband had a migraine for three days. Mine never if I go to sleep when I wake up, 100% the migraine's gone. I've never had it not be gone. Yeah. And her husband had it for three days, and she's finally taken him to the emergency room, and he attempted to jump out of the car on the freeway. Well, sleep is one of those great equalizers. If you can get to sleep, usually in, when you're done sleeping, you feel better from a lot of ailments. I mean, you really do. Because like me, even, I have, um, I have peripheral neuropathy. Oh in yeah. My remaining leg, and I have I have phantom pain in my amputated leg. Right. And uh, it, it, if I can get to sleep, when I wake up, it's almost pain free completely for a little while. Right. Like, oh. and then once I get up and start moving around, it starts coming back the neuropathy. But is the peripheral neuropathy neuropathy because of thickening blood? It, it's because of the nerve damage I did to my leg with the with the blood clotting and and all the stuff I had with the oh. with the um, graphics of South scleroderma. Oh. I had from my rejection from my you know unrelated donor and my transplants. Gotcha. So the first transplant didn't take. The oh, it, it's just a that. Oh, I I I I had a perfect what do they call a perfect match. But it still is an unrelated donor, so there's always some rejection. Oh, gotcha. You have to take anti-rejection medications for, it, basically immunosuppressant medications for, uh, I took them for about a year and a half afterwards, my first transplant. Yeah. My second transplant, even though it was from the same donor, I reacted better to. But the second transplant, so the first transplant, my reject, the rejection that you get is called Graffert's host disease. And um, oh. the, um, it showed up in my eyes. I, that's why I don't really produce a whole lot of tears. And my lungs. Originally, I had some breathing problems when I fir my first transplant afterwards. And that finally cleared up after about a year and a half of immunosuppressants and things like that. My second I transplant is when I got the graft versus scleroderma as my rejection. Is the... Are, are, is your life expectancy turned out greater than the majority who have it or, or uh, yeah. I, I've, I mean I'm I've just been a very I've been a I, I've been a very uh, what's the word I'm looking for Lucky. positive <laughs> outcome for for life expectancy and that I mean I've had some serious illnesses and I I haven't so you are actually doing here. better than the majority with your oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's wonderful because the former leukemia I had the life ex you know the the, the my um, prognosis was very poor. Right, right. Um, you know, I had a I had a very aggressive form of leukemia, and so my prognosis was very poor. And as I said, I sure I relapsed from it three times, but but hey, yeah, you're but still alive. I, I, I was immediately told when I was diagnosed, they said chemotherapy will not do for you. We cannot solve this with chemotherapy alone you're going to have to seek out a bone marrow transplant they how old were you when you were diagnosed i was 
So, I was 21 when I was diagnosed with polycythemia vera, which is my precancerous condition. That was the thickening of the red blood cells in my body, Th thickening of the blood, thickening of, it's, it's an overproduction of red blood cells. That I knew eventually could morph into leukemia. So from 21 to 34, I dealt with the polycythemia vera. 34, I was diagnosed with leukemia. And here I am at turning 57. So yeah, I've had a, I've had a good survival good. rate from very aggressive leukemia. And then of course I've had all my other health problems, like you know, spending six months in the hospital in 2001, 2021, you know, and losing my leg. No. But yep. But I'm still kicking. And I'm here to bother you. I've been kicking. Where is your heart, Mister? Thank you. As I said, and the one thing, you know, and, you know, and I'm one of those people, and I'm not, as I said, I'm not, I'm not spiritual necessarily or anything like that, but I am, I am very much, I believe that a positive attitude is very beneficial. So I've never, I've never been a, I've, ne I've never, you can ask my wife this, I've never been a why me person. Why did this happen to me? Why? why? I am, you know, pardon my friend, I just believe, I just believe shit happens if you deal with it. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You know, I, I used to have... It's sort of funny, though. So even though I'm not really religious or anything like that, some of my favorite conversations have been with religious practitioners and things like that. I used to love having the chaplain in the hospital because a I, I big part of my hospitalization originally was in a Catholic hospital. And, um... The, I used to have the, the chaplain, the priest would come by and see me almost daily, and we'd have long conversations. You know, they're really good conversations. But he knew exactly how I was religiously. And then he said, you know, do you pray? And I said, I don't necessarily pray, but I do, I just, I just hope for the strength to deal with what I have, what I have. That's all I want. I'm not going to say, oh, cure me, cure me, cure me. Because yeah. I don't believe that's the way things work. I, I said, just give me the strength to deal with the things I've given. I was in a Catholic hospital when my son was stillborn. Mm -hmm. I was so insulted, so in Keep it in mind back then I was an atheist. Actually, yeah. I don't know if I was an atheist. I was just really pissed off at God. Hey. And, yeah. So I didn't want anything to do with it. And my mom had the priest baptize my baby. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I think you told so, me this story before. I think you told me this. It was like a slap in the face. It's like. In the name of God, did a baby do to need to be baptized? Yeah, and, and as I said, one of my favorite things I've done is when my my uncle was sick with cancer, eventually he passed, and he was a Catholic priest. I, uh, you know, I I was out of work at the time. Well, I was I was still employed. I was just out basically recovering from my cancer, but I was able to drive and anything like that. So I would go up to Massachusetts every single day and take him to his treatments, and we <laughs> just had to spend the day in the hospital with him. And I did that for months. And we, 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 um, we, we got along really great. We talked all the time. I he ended up succumbing to his cancer. Oh, well, okay. I am off to bed. So you guys have a good night. Nice. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll try and get the dead money done tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We okay. Do. okay, have a good night, guys. So you're playing Valheim, Nevin? I'm playing Slay the Spire. Unless you okay. want to play some Valheim. Oh no, I don't want to do Valheim. How's Stock and Ashton to get on? We'll go do our RP I don't think I want to play uh, Wild tonight. Just not feeling it. Not in your blood tonight, huh? No. Oh boy, I got bear form, our our cat form. It's it's like, it's like you're become a a, a mini god compared to the bear. You like the bear was so not fun, Nogo. It was so the one to twenty was so not fun. I know. 
Well, wait till you're capped for a little bit and all you do is push the same button the whole time. Yeah, that's what I'm looking. It's like, wait a minute. There's no point in doing your combo thing, right? Because they're dead by the time before you can get five anyways. Mm-hmm. And it's like, do you put a bleed on them or do you smack them one more time to finish them off? <laughs> but yeah, I like that. Just hit one button. Don't <laughs> but, you know. But the, the risk, it's still a tremendous risk because you and I do not have the gut instinct of what to do if things go south. So it's right. like, what do I do? What do I, that's what scares me. It's like, if things go bad, I, I they keep on saying Druid has high survivability because they have a lot of outs. It's like, hmm, <laughs> I'll take my pet out any day. <laughs> Send pet and run. <laughs> So yeah, I don't have any survival instincts on the druid, so I don't know if I can get one to 20. I need a 60. I got the 20, I just don't think I can get it to, to 60. And I'd much rather be a healer than an MDPS or a tank. But then being solo I have to I have to spec Pharaoh, so then I would be a crappy healer. So I don't know about the druid thing though go. Not feeling it. I oh, know. At this point I'm almost thinking the lock was more fun and I hated the lock. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a pet. <laughs> Not as good as a hunter pet, but a pet. <laughs> you have a pet. You have geese. I know. It's great. <laughs> You're going to have to pet him occasionally. <laughs> no, no. I'll pet him when we're together. <laughs> Good boy, good boy. <laughs> I don't want to know anything about it. <laughs> you know, I, I interestingly enough, I didn't mind the the pally. I I mean, it's all auto attack, so most people find it extremely boring. But I didn't feel as vulnerable on the pally as I do on the druid. Cause you know the pally doesn't have to change sh shape to to heal, and then now they don't have any rage, so they can't smack. And by the time they get rage, they need to heal again. But what I was doing when I got Kitty, I was learning and and Bear, I was learning how low my health could be. I monitored their health, and if their health was going down faster than my health, I knew I was going to win. I started not panicking even with low health as long as their health goes lower. Of course a warrior would miss, 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 then die. I feel like I might die here. It's a card game now though. You don't die in card games, you just lose. Losing is dying. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who taught you how to play a card game, huh? Oh, I used to play. Oh, I used to play cutthroat. Oh, I would, I would literally piss people off. You know what I would do? <laughs> I would play gin rummy with a bunch of old ladies, and they played like little old lady style. Then cutthroat Penny would would join the game. And I would discard cards that I needed just so later on I could pick them all up. And I wouldn't put them, when you get your runs and three of a kind, you put them down. I would save them in my hand. Like if I had all the all the eights, I knew it was safe to discard because nobody could pick up on an eight. <laughs> so 
I'd lay all my aids down. Nobody could pick up the pile. The picking up the pile gave you a tremendous advantage because you had all these cards. It's like Rummy, but slightly different. <laughs> I would win these little ladies. They hated me. They didn't want to play with me anymore because <laughs> I'd cutthroat. It's amazing if you play cutthroat and people lose, they get mad. <laughs> they get really mad when you play cutthroat. Like, look, I lay down cards as a discard that I need. They, they don't lay down cards that they need, right? They keep it in their hand. I lay down cards I need because I know you can't pick it up. Oh, yeah, I, I was a gamer before computers. No, I, I played, there was nothing but card games and chess to play. And I couldn't play chess mostly because most people don't know how to play chess. So I didn't really have too many opportunity to play chess. So it was card games. I was born competitive no go. <laughs> oh, I know. It's actually an unusual trait in a female, but I was born competitive. If my brother and sister could do it, I could do it better. <laughs> and they were both older than me. <laughs> But I didn't compete physically because, you know, I was actually smaller than most people, so I didn't have a hope and a prayer physically. So I had to outsmart them. I'm trying to outsmart this game. <laughs> None of my girls are competitive. Out of four girls, I have, one. I have one brother who's competitive and one who's not. I have one girl that likes to play games, but she doesn't like to play uh, against people, so she plays solo type games, arcade type games, okay. like Pop It or something. So she competes with herself, she doesn't compete with others. And of four girls, she's the only one that's a gamer. She used to play Zelda when Zelda first came out. My granddaughter used to play games. Like when Spyro came out, you, you remember Spyro? Or have you heard of Spyro? Yeah, the dragon one. Yeah. She 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 was very talented at the, on the runs where the the speed runs where something I can't remember the rules on it. It's been too long, but I could never do the speed runs. I'd always die. So then I have my granddaughter come and do the speed run for me and get me to the next level. But now she's into she was into. Um, that block game, I don't know what it's called, where you build things with with bricks. I mean, that's so boring. Roblox. No, the other one, Minecraft. She was doing mm -hmm. Minecraft. And to me, Minecraft seems so boring. Oh, yeah. I don't like... I, I feel like we live in a, a year where should be playing better games with better graphics rather than worse <laughs> games or games with just the worst like nintendo graphics like why don't we just give everybody Atari's at that point 
Like let everybody play Pong if that's what they if that's what they think is good. To me, the idea of get, but buying a blank world and you build it, it's just like, what? You want me to build the game? You want to pay, charge me to build the game? <laughs> Let's play it. <laughs> Even that, that RPG game, Sims, that first one, that was like, the, my daughter was really into it. I thought, this is really stupid. <laughs> this is a stupid, it's not a game. <laughs> I even bought one of the Sims. I don't know, Sims 3 or Sims 4 to try it. I was like, okay, maybe I'm missing something. It's like, this is not so not fun. Nothing like having a fantasy game where you get married, have babies, and then that's it. <laughs> Buy a bigger house. It's like, <laughs> it's not fantasy. <laughs> Somebody died in Syringor's, I think yesterday, and how they died, they died of fall damage, and I'm thinking they fell through that crack on that bridge. I, thought, I bet you they mm -hmm. fell through that crack. Uh, a female character? Yep. Yeah, now that I know about it, next time I get that the bridge, I make sure I hop over that crack.
I'm like, I'm falling behind in this game. It's terrible. How do you fall behind in a car game? When you get to uh, the rest stops, you can either rest or upgrade a card. And if you need to rest, you're pretty much falling behind because you're missing out on upgrading. What does the rest do? Gives you health, gives you life back. Uh, so it's like eating and drinking. You like yeah, that game? Very much. I love this game. Know what it is, is you can play it a million times and most games are different, different enough to make it so it feels like it's a new g game every time. Isn't that how God of Valheim cards for? Every time you die, it's a game? Yeah, but you don't have a chance of winning Valheim hardcore. <laughs> yeah, Let's be honest. That is true. Honestly, they, they should have let Hardcore be with a map and give the option to take away the map to make it harder. Oh, I like the no map. I hate the no map. I know you do, but you should learn to love it. <laughs> no, God, if you're perpetually lost, you're never going to learn to love being lost, right? But you're not perpetually lost. Like you, you play in the same area for so long, you have to know the area. <laughs> eventually, or you get you're lost, and lost. then you just start a whole new life there. <laughs> yeah, just where you, that's where you live now. <laughs> Most of the times when I play a game and move on, it's not interesting going back. It took me like a few years before I came back to WoW. And the only reason why I came back to WoW is because I was curious about Classic. Otherwise, I would not have come back to WoW. The, the retail doesn't is not the game I fell in love with. It's like a totally different game by a developer that I despise. Whereas Classic WoW was by a developer I love. It's strange. <laughs> I mean, you should try Slay the Spire. Nah, it's like a card game. I'm not really interested in a card game. I just had an event I've never been to before in this game. I like I role I've been playing this game for, what, 300 hours? It's interesting to find a, a, a new event. See, with me, I like role-playing games, and Slay the Spire is not really a role-playing game. It's a card game, in my mind. I mean, I, I guess it's played like a role-playing game, but in my mind, it's a, a card game. My daughter and I did compete in a game once. When computers were first coming out and Microsoft came out that clicked the bond, I can't remember what it is, you'd click and, and you'd get one or two, three bombs next to you. You had to clear out all the space without the bombs blowing you up. My daughter and I would, we only have one computer. So we would play, when I beat her score, it was her turn to play until she beat my score and then went and we'd go back and forth until eventually the scores were too high to really be. But that's more like an arcade type game too that she's actually very good at. 
when she would play Poppet and things like that, I would just get amazed at what she could see. She could see the chain reaction that would occur, so which one is in speed, which one is the better one to click. I would just get amazed at how well she could play it. But there's a reason why very few females play WoW, it's because it's, girls are not competitive. It's not the type of game they, they enjoy. My brother and sister weren't competitive either, but I didn't care. I'd compete with them even if they weren't competing with me. Neither one of my brothers are uh, game, game people. And I would compete with my husband in school, and intellectually, there was no way I could compete with him because he was so superior to me. So, but it didn't, it kept him on his toes. He, there was no way he could possibly let me beat him. It would be just like way too insulting. I beat him only once in our entire time. And that was because the teacher was an idiot. And I knew she was an idiot and he took her seriously. No, no, I just took massive damage. Oops. Wow seems to have died tonight. Sunday night is, seems to be the, the least amount of people on. So your roommate's a good cook, huh? An excellent cook. But you're still not interested in keeping her around beyond your vacation, huh? Nope.
I was shocked to find out that Shock was an, a nurse at one point in his life. Oh yeah. I'm at another inn and I'm, I'm pretty much dead if I don't heal. I can't get an upgrade. Oh. This has been awful. This is an awful game. Can you concede and start a new one? Yeah, but I don't know. Sometimes it's worth the fight.
I'll be right back. Okie dokie. I'm back. Ooh, welcome back. Thank you. Somehow I've made it to the next oh. level. Good job. Good job. Congrats. I don't know how I'm doing this. It does not feel like it should be possible.
So you had a following last night? Yeah. That was cute. People stop the in the in the start zone, people would stop and stare at us, amazed that people would be so stupid to do an RP walk. <laughs> what are you guys doing right now? I'm just on my druid. Playing slay the spire. Doc's not on, he's probably playing with his little grandbaby. What are you gonna do, Ashen? Well, I'll probably watch YouTube or go sleep. We were out at my best friend's birthday party, so the dog was... He's pretty tired. You sound pretty tired. Did you work today? No, I, um, I was off, like I said. I was just with everybody, dealing with everybody. Sam. You were off today and you didn't come during us? Actually, nobody was here. Noga wasn't on. Chalk wasn't on. I like I was at my best friend's birthday party thing all day. I would just watch YouTube and go to sleep or something. I finally got cat form in it. Oh my god, you're like a little god compared to bear form. <laughs> it's it's like the big difference when a priest first gets his wand before versus no wand. It's like that big a difference. Well, I guess I could play my priest. Try to do dead mines or something. So hard to find a group, even as a healer, like Jesus. If you get on and just quest, people will start sending you tell.
about to play caverns. Ooh, ooh.
It's the title of a YouTube video. Lesbian woman calls sperm bank to put donor on child support. <laughs> Lesbian woman calls donor? Yeah, she calls a sperm bank to find out who the donor is so she can sue them for child support. <laughs> Oh, the world is getting crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy, huh? I have no idea why that was on my recommended list, but it was funny. I'm not going to watch it, but the title was certainly funny. Four men can't, can't win either way. <laughs> never, never can. <laughs> I even heard of one of the, the, like the sports stars, the woman going into the bathroom and, and trying to impregnate herself with his condom so she could sue for child support. Oh, I almost forgot the key in this game. Oh, no. Danny, I've turned it back around. I'm kind of, I'm not really winning, winning, but I have, I'm still in it. Is this the one that it. you're losing? The one that you had to... I was go. losing, and I almost ended it because, because I didn't think I was going to win. Breath, now go. Yeah, I'm at the end of Act 3. 
which is a lot further than I thought I was going to make it. I was going to go to bed, but then I decided, you know what, and the late at night on a Sunday night, it might be easier to do that Hunter Lothmodan quest chain where you kill the pigs and the birds. Because that one can be really super annoying to try to get done. I don't know. I think Zygor wants me to go do that stupid trog part first, and that is so hazardous. Zygor sends me there way too early to handle those trogs. Especially if the rare is there. That's the trogs at the Iron Bands excavation area to gather the idols. Okay. They're they're usually higher level than than Zygor than I am when Zygor has me go there because they're like on the way to a lower level quest. But I'm higher level than I would normally be anyway, so maybe I'll be big enough to kill Trogs. This guy is rocking me, Danny. Uh oh. Going south for you, Hanover. Huh,
died. Aww. So it's over now, bro? I was vanquished. Aww. It gives me the note, a nap sounds good. So now you gotta start a fresh game and do better. Yeah. I'm at difficulty level 16 and get stuff at this. Like, I did very good making it as far as I did. But, you know how when I was saying I was struggling? Yeah. Basically, it was... I get, it got better, but it because I was struggling there, I think, is why I lost. You gonna get go again? Not tonight. I wanna play Valheim, I think. Not hardcore, just I wanna run through the meadows. I see why you say it plays like a rogue because of that energy, huh? And those uh, yep. combo well, points. Yep, it's exactly like a rogue, just without a uh, interrupt. Yeah, that kind of stuff you not to have an interrupt. Yeah, you're basically a rogue without an interrupt. It should have a bite. Does it ever get an interrupt? Not that I know of. Wow. But they say rogues have really good at, I mean, Druids are the best one to solo content that nothing else can solo, but I don't see that.
It just what worries me the most is I don't have an instinct on what to do if things go bad. Although the way out's good, yeah, have you haven't been put in any serious predicaments where you need to to learn that, right? Just react without thinking, yeah. So that's what worries me. I I didn't necessarily need it on the priest. I don't know. The priest didn't bother me. And even the pally, you just bubble and run, right? How, how how much instinct do you need there? But the rogue, the druid has different kinds of outs that you gotta do. It's like, hmm. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to how much mana you have because if like you need to get into a better uh, form like bear, you better have the mana to get into bear. There's another one called Druid, Druid Bar or something like that, where it shows you your mana bar when you're in your form. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, let me see what it is. Oh, mine does too. Yeah. Whoa, uh, thick plates or whatever, mine shows me. When you're in oh, cat form, it shows you your mana? Yeah, it yep. shows you. Druid Cast Bar, it literally just a little mana bar that shows up underneath your energy bar, your rage bar. Oh. It shows you how much mana you have. Yeah, I was two manning with a warrior that had the level 14 to my 19, but he was like the best purchased gear he could buy and all fully chanted. So he just basically tanked because once he hit, I couldn't pull pull aggro off of him. Yeah, Drew tanks are. I like my Drew tank. So he was warrior, but he was all fully geared and like all these blues he had and all chanted and he'd never done dead mines. He was only 14. But, uh, so I just healed. He said, well, put a rejuve and go to bear farm. I said, if I keep on doing that, yeah, you know, I can do that once and I'm out of mana and I can't heal you. It is not viable to hop back and forth. <laughs> mana cost is way too much. And I can't get any, I can't get any rage with him if I can't pull aggro off of him, so... It's like, now nah, I need to stay and kill you while you do all this massive amount of damage. And he was put, he was only 14, he was pulling three mobs at a time. Because he would go into the pack. And we even did the higher level Defias up in the hills. That, that, what are they, like 17? Level 17? And we would still get three. So yeah, he was, he was a challenge to keep alive. Like I can't go to Druid Form. If I go to Druid Form, a Bear Form, I can't keep you alive. Uh, if I tank, I prefer to be a, a Bear Tank. Yeah, if I were to tank, I would prefer to be a Bear Tank. It seems easier. Mm, easier. You have a lot of defense. And their armor is so high in Bear Form. Like, I was at Nogo, what, I had like 3k health or something like that? A 4k? Yeah, druids have way more health than a warrior. It's ridiculous how much more they have. My armor was more, too, and it's just, it was crazy. Baseball, my poor little kitty, because I don't want to lose all my energy.
What I think is amazing about Valheim is the scariest, uh, the trolls, the blue trolls in Valheim are in the Black Forest, but yet the Black Forest is like the best zone. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, the Black Forest is pretty good though. I like the Black Forest. Aside from the trolls, if you don't count the trolls. These idols are not dropping. I think I'm here alone and have no competition. What was that? It's about to be nighttime. Is this a new game or a current, a new, uh, old game? It's an old game, but I haven't played it in so long. I don't really remember it. This is not the one that you lost all your gear, is it? Nope. I'm too mad about that one. <laughs> Poor Noko. That one I was in uh, the Mistlands when I died. I don't really care to play the Mistlands right wow. now. Wow, that's pretty high up there, huh? Yep, yep. Couldn't see anything. There was a million bugs. Uh, a brain thing destroyed my portal. It couldn't have gotten. It couldn't have gotten any worse, and I did not feel like. Making a bunch of new gear. Yeah, especially at that level to fight the Mistlands. Oh, yuck. Yeah. And how did you get back if your portal's gone? Oh, you just destroy everything and... Basically run back there. Oh no, I feel like me and you did the Mistland, so I know everything about it. And I could do it if I wanted to beat my head against the wall, but... Yeah, it would be tough. It would be tough. So there was would be no way to get your gear, so you'd actually have to make new gear? More than likely. And it wouldn't be as good as the gear I lost. And yeah, it's just too stressful, you know? I don't want to give myself a headache. Yeah, the Mistlands was pretty tough. I didn't quite so enjoy it so much. I didn't really enjoy it either. Well, what it was, was like you put those those mist things down to clear the mist. Yeah. But unless you were like close to them, they didn't do anything. So it wasn't like it got rid of the mist. Right, right. So you're just constantly 
in this blanketed shit. That's how I explain it. <laughs> I did not like it. I did not. Like, they needed a way to clear it and clear it for good. Like, those wisp right. lanterns should have cleared. Should have cleared it. Yep, I agree, Nago. I agree. Okay, we're getting ready to do the stupid hunter quest thing and lock mode in. That's so annoying sometimes. It's really not necessary. It doesn't lead to anything, so technically it's not necessary. Tomorrow I gotta stay up till 3 or 4 in the morning. I might do it tonight, too, just so my body's used to it. Why? Because I get on the plane. Mm -hmm. The plane, the plane. There's, I think there's two people here getting ready to do this hunter quest. If they don't want to group, I'm just going to hurt and log. I can't hurt. 25 minutes.
Oh, I forgot I Zygor had me put a point in the in the faster speed too. I guess they think running away is a safer, higher survival rate. I think so too. Did you hear I got the the speed potion? The, oh god, please tell me that hunter is tame in a pet and not take care of my pigs. Uh oh. Well, there's a pig there. He's he's not doesn't seem like he's going after it. Everything's not dead for the pigs, so the the encouraging thing is maybe pigs will spawn instead of bears. And my partner had wife aggro, so he just jumped me. Oh, are you playing with him again? No, no, not that partner. My uh, let's get this quest done partner. Let's group so that we don't fight over pigs. Oh, someone you just met? Yeah, but he had white bags up, so... No. Oh. oh, wait, there's the, uh, Horde Patrol. I don't know their exact path. One more pig and I'm done now. Go one more pig. Nice. Hopefully I can find it. Sounds like you've been getting a lot of pigs. Well, everything's dead, so there's there's what's spawning. I I can see now birds starting to spawn, so I'm hoping I get my pig. Oh, I see a pig. And hopefully I can get the pig and get out of here before the horde patrol comes back. Yeah, that was luck. Somebody had cleared all the bears. All the pigs, there are a lot of pigs down here in the south. Somebody cleared all the bears. So yeah, made it easy even though I, my truck had left me and the horde showed up. But... Good. But I'm not going to do the trucks tonight. They, they were trucks. I don't know. I would love to group with the trogs, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of grouping possibilities here tonight. No. The tools, all those tools in the trog camps. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, yep. Lock mode in. Yes, sir. And then I forgot that the, all the king's horses and all the king man quests. Those trogs are the ones that, that you can kill for that quest. I did not know it until I grouped with somebody and they had that quest. Yeah, I knew that. So I, I forgot to pick that up. So it would probably be smart to pick that quest up. And not do the trogs tonight, because I'd rather group. 
Yeah. It's really, really dangerous on the hunter to do that quest. And if it's dangerous, and they're green, and if it's dangerous on the hunter, it's going to be way dangerous on a stupid kitty that has no pet. So, Noko, if I get any high, it's not going to be because of skill. It's going to be because of knowledge of the quests. Hmm. And grinding. wouldn't have this issue if it were forward. Yeah, Horde's a lot nicer. I don't know why we're playing so many Alliance characters <laughs> right now. It's awful. The Alliance quests suck! <laughs> they do. Well, that was really nice. I would, I really lucked out there with all the somebody killing all the bears. The, oh, good grief! The stupid bear put a bird put a twenty minute disease on me. Ooh, that's a long disease. Yeah, it's not. I guess it's technically not so bad. It just decreases span by three. So I suppose, as far as diseases goes, it could be worse. But yeah, I don't think in, I think in, in retail, they got rid of those long-term diseases. I didn't even know about those long-term diseases until I came to Classic. I don't recall them being, in, when I did Iron Man, I don't recall that being an issue. The ones in Winter Spring, isn't it a 30%, a 30-minute debuff you get for those Albies? Yeah, I think that's the worst one. I think I gotta make a boat in this game. That's, I think what I gotta do next. In Valheim? Yeah. Yeah, a boat is very important. I gotta figure out, I think it was what, 80 nails? 20 leather. You need, you, you have, uh, oh, you said a boat. I thought you said a boat. You, you have, you have to, it takes the things from the skeleton cave. The certain course? I think it, yeah, I think it takes certain course. But it'll show up on your crafting list once you get the nails. Yeah, let me just look. I don't I don't think it takes sterling cores. This character I have not died on yet. And so his skills are so high. Good for you. I haven't gotten to uh I've only been to the meadows and the black forest though. No swamp yet. 
So you have serpent cores, huh? Uh, a couple. I have uh, ten, I know that, because I have a, a smelter and a kindling thing. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need to make a boat. i just been uh, cruising through this game. Doing whatever I want. Uh, let's see. Let's see what, what we need. For the boat. It's 30 fine wood. Oh, it's fine wood. 80, 80 nails, 20 resin, 10 deer hide. Fine wood is what I need. Okay. Inventory full. Really? It's time to get some wood. You can, if you have fine wood too, you can make a fine wood bow thing, whatever. Yeah, I have it already. What it is about Valheim, but time just goes by so fast in this game. In real life or the game time? In the game time, like it's already night time again. I'm like, <laughs> uh, it days does still last 30 minutes, right? Like, what? I hate you how fast it. it's day and night in this game. You could change it. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. With a mod? In the settings? No way. I think so. Um, how fast night and day go? I didn't know you could change game time. Uh, I think so. Let me check this game out. Game speed, I guess it would be considered. Where I do I go? Settings? I believe so. If not, look it up on the, the web. I could have sworn you could. Gameplay, auto run, show button in. Enable Raven hints. Auto backup history. Reduce mm. background. Performance. It was in the game thing before you launch the game. I think like the world setting. I think. Yeah, when you have to log out, log out, and then where you change it from hardcore to regular, regular to hardcore in those settings. I think so. Yeah. But I don't think time, daytime, I time, I don't recall that being one of the options. It would be nice though because I agree it's not going to go too fast. Oh wow, you can shrink down the UI stuff so it's super tiny. It's too small. Yeah, I was it's... thinking their UI is pretty small anyways. I didn't think their UI was such an issue for me. Uh, yeah, like... I didn't think so either. I shrunk it down as small as it can go. I don't like it. So, so far my longest level druid is 21. How long did that one take you? Oh, I'm not even, not even gonna go there. It like took forever from traveling back and forth looking for low level quests. Fishing, herbing, and farming crates and ratchet.
it is definitely going to be the long well next to my self-made and naked then I don't think the naked took that much extra time the self-made took a lot of time more than I needed because you know if I could level naked I certainly didn't need all the gear I bought but having no inflict was so miserable on the hunter I, I had to mostly auto shot because I needed to save save my mana to heal pet but then there came a time was do I heal pet or do I hurry up and get the sucker killed as fast as possible so there came sometimes it's like hmm which one do I do pet's gonna die or, or this mom has to die faster Especially the worst one. The worst one was that stupid elite turtle in, in, in uh, what's that elite turtle, what's that zone? That elite turtle that you gotta kill and lions have to take pictures of her? Oh, uh, Gamarita? Yep, yep, that was like the worst one. She was really, had a lot of health so she was really hard. And I had to keep on deciding, do I kill Pat or do I, I arcane shot? Because she needs to go down fast, but she was really tough with no intellect. I don't know if the memory of, of that is from self-made or from naked. It might have been from naked, but it's hard to decide which one was harder because the naked only had um it's weapon right it, that's it so so she didn't have any gear whereas the self-made had agility gear so i'm not quite sure which one was the issue it could have very well been the naked that had absolutely no naked intellect Three manning WC. Nice. What's your makeup? Two warriors and me a priest. So, uh, this last part's struggling because you get all these mobs on us, but if you focus on one.
It would be nice if this debuff I have disappeared or all I blocked off. I doubt it, but it I could dream. Okay, I'm getting off guys. Have a good night, Tammy. Alright, see ya. She's no gamer. <laughs> How's work been? Like I said, I was off today. I took a day off to go to my best friend's barbecue, which uh, didn't go so good, I guess. But uh oh, yeah, I had an interesting day too. I guess my mom's all upset with my brother. Why? Uh, he was renting a house from them. Uh huh. But he just bought a house. And then they were giving him time to move, you know, without charging him. But it's been two months and they want the key so that they can get someone in there to uh, do renovations. And like start making some money on it and he just keeps on taking his time getting the key to the property manager Oof, that sucks. yeah so and then my stepdad sent a message to my mom but didn't know it was in a group text so my brother read it and it wasn't anything bad, it was, he was just speaking his, his mind, you know, to my mom. Uh -huh. So. But your brother happened to get... My brother yeah. got to read what he meant to just say to my mom. And so, he, he had his own reply to that, and then... My mom was just nervous with, uh, with Easter being next week. That my brother's gonna try to be a jerk and keep the grandkids from her. Yeah, that would suck. I mean, the kids have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. I was gonna, I was gonna call my brother and be like, what the fuck? But I called today and, uh, he was just, he was having a good day, so it was the right time to, to bring it up. Yeah. I, mean, I don't see why he would. I mean, I don't know how your brother is, but I mean, the kid, it has nothing to do with the kids. I mean, it's not the kids' fault or anything, but. Yeah. It's just drama. Drama, drama. drama. All right, no go. I guess I'll go to sleep. <laughs> Bow time, good riddance. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're no gamer. Bye. You're no gamer. <laughs> hey. What? I'm gonna. I'm gonna be coming over to hang out in like two days. I mean, if you want to drive like three hours, was it three hours away? I am. Yeah. I work. Um, from noon to midnight. Oh, is this like the old... excuses are already rolling in? Is this what this <laughs> is? <laughs> no, I'm saying I, I'm gonna I go work. three thousand miles to California. <laughs>
and what I'm been, saying is I worked for the last four from years. Noon. <laughs> you took like, the uh, day off because of what today, yeah. and now you can't can't hang out with me. Well, today was open. It was the only spot open. But um, I get home. I'm usually free. Monday never mind. Tuesday, never mind. I don't even want to come. Tuesdays no. I'm free. No, I'm off Tuesdays. No. Bye. No, too late. Night. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Have a good one.
One day you might. Oh yeah.
These guys kill me. I'm a burst. Oh, come on, don't die. Don't die. Oh, a little scary. Again, assholes. Ah, I'm out of man. I'm out of stamina. This fucking game.
Yoga, what are you still doing awake? Oh, I'm staying up for a while. How much is a while? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired though. Yeah, I am too. The question is, do I go to bed or do I stay up all night? <laughs> I'm so trying to get my days and nights back together. And when I get up early, I'm tired all day, and then at night I get my second win, no matter how little sleep I've had. Yeah, with uh, having Christina here, she's a morning person. So when I stay up all late like this, she's going to be up at like 7.30, ready to have coffee. <laughs> Will you hear her? Oh, yeah. I... Probably will moan and groan, but I'll get up and I'll have coffee too. You'll have to at night not drink coffee and after she gets up, go back and take a nap. Well, well tomorrow night, I'm just doing an all nighter, staying up all night because it's, uh, I gotta leave, we gotta leave the house at 3 a.m. to head to the airport. Oh, how dreadful. Yeah. But my ticket was $270, so... Oh, that's pretty good, going from Florida to California. That's excellent. Yeah. Did you purchase it a long time ago, or just short term? Short, short term. Mm, I got it, like, a couple weeks, two weeks early, three weeks early. Like, I didn't, like, get it months and months ahead of time. What game are you playing, Yoko? Valheim. Valheim. I'm having fun. Just making a base in the meadows. I'm going to make a cooking station. Still haven't died? Haven't died yet. I got real close. Uh, they ganged up on me when my health was low. Uh, two shamans and they put poison on me. I thought it was, uh, thought the poison was going to be a wrap. I was getting all mad. Tourette's was acting up. Did you get the first two bosses down? Nope. Only the first one boss. Only the first one. I'm not making it uh, tough on myself. Honestly, don't even. I'm not even trying to really progress all that much. Don't know what I'm doing, really, to be honest. Maybe I had a nap and that's why I don't feel tired for so late. I mean, I feel tired, but I don't feel like I can sleep. Yeah, I took a nap. I, I didn't take a nap, but I, like, uh, rested my eyes. Watch the TV show. I probably should go to bed. I'm just having fun in this game, though, so. I thought you were done with that time. It's always a good time in the meadows, though. Like, I don't know how much I'm really trying to progress in the game as much as I'm trying to not 
die, play in the meadows, level skills, work on gear. Just enjoy the experience. Probably make some roads. Build a sign. Non-stop, Nago, non-stop. Non-stop? Those things coming in. Oh, oh no, they're evil. Yeah, they're, they're evil. I turned it off once, and then it turned out I didn't have enough of their drops to do what I needed to do. What, like the resin? The resin. Yeah, didn't yeah. have enough. So it's you basically have to constantly kill them, or you'll run out of resin. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, can't you kill other things if you wanted to? What else drops resin besides the gray dwarf? I don't know. Maybe I don't I'm think tripping. anything. Maybe I'm tripping. And you need so much of it, especially if you ever plan on having light. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you want fire arrows, and fire arrows seem to be viable all the way through the game. Oh, they are. They're like the best arrows in the game. Are you close to Black Tours? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm right on the edge. I was getting attacked too much in the Black Forest. I didn't want. I didn't want my base in the Black Forest. Yeah, it's not. It's not good. Not only that, where your where your base is, you're gonna get attacked a lot. So while you're trying to mine, you're gonna get attacked a lot on your base. And then they're going to destroy your base and you're going to have to rebuild it. It's okay to make like a temporary base that you don't put much effort in. That's what I did. That's a pretty big building there. I don't think I've been to that building. The ones that have the, those buildings in the Black Forest that have crows, they have a high chance of having instructions on how to get to the next boss. Crows, huh? When you see crows. The black crows? Yeah. Oh, really? They have a high chance to have that little thing inside one of the... There, see? It's right there. Does that one have crows? Did you see a crow? I didn't see a crow. There's a thing to read right there, one of those stones. Oh, look at that. You don't have to fight the gray door. Oh yeah, there is a stone. It's also, it's not only the crows, I want to say it's the big ones. The, the big ones. I can't, I read, the, the one of the speed runner guys, he'd give all kind of hints that, on how to know where to go. Yeah. He was number one, I don't know, if he, but they keep on beating each other's time. 
the last video I saw, he he was working to. But I didn't watch it all, but he was working to get back to the number one spot speedrunner. And he's one of those speedrunners. He'll tell you exactly what it is you need to do to get the speedrun done. He doesn't hide anything. No tricks up his sleeves that he doesn't tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw them. He beats the game in like eight hours or something. Yeah. That's insane. But that doesn't even seem fun to me, though. Like, I want to spend eight hours in every biome. <laughs> yeah, the game I was playing my time at Sandrock. I don't know. I've I've only half completed the game, and I keep stopping and starting a new run. And I think I'm tired because something didn't happen. Like I needed to see somebody's romance, and it didn't happen. So I think that it's not happening because I need to progress. So then I needed to date somebody else so I could see his romance because after I do the next part of the question, he gets sent off to jail and he breaks up with me. But uh -oh. he's supposed to do something, give me a quest before he'll date me and he won't give me the quest. And so, so I, don't, I don't know. I think I might have progressed too far with him and not far enough with the other one and by that time I think I'm done. So I've never seen the end, I've only got, but the, the developers didn't develop the end to be excited. What they did is the antagonist became the protagonist, so you no longer had an antagonist, so there was like no point to the game. If you're not having a purpose, you know, you have to have a good guy and a bad guy. You have to have a protagonist and an antagonist, and if you don't have the antagonist to give the protagonist a reason to live like your antagonist and Valheim are the bosses well, actually mm -hmm. everything you're the only antagonist in the game but you have to be fighting something right there has to be some kind of conflict or the game is boring and that's what they did when when they made the antagonist the protagonist there's no reason to continue it's like the game's over everything else is just hideous bs mm. oh my goodness it becomes a sims game instead of an action rpg game yeah, I made the boat. I made the boat to come over here. Um, and then once I got here, I just jumped off the boat and left it. <laughs> I didn't you even are. care. I left like my whole world behind at the beginning. Did you did you like mark where the boat's at? Nope. No, I had no <laughs> portals. I just didn't care. <laughs> Right now, I'm making a cooking station. Remember that time when you had somebody do all that cooking for you? Mm-hmm. I had boxes that just cooked stuff all over the place. <laughs> I bet you don't waste food now, huh? Man. <laughs> it all disappeared on me. The magic box is gone. The magic box is gone. You remember when the fires kept going out? There was no ventilation, and that's why the fires were going out. Oh, it no, wasn't ventilated. Yeah, I kept on having frustration. I get close to the fire when I'm trying to cook, and the fire would go out. But the fire was still there. It wasn't that it burned out. It was like smoldered out. Uh, so then I would leave and it'd go back on. I'd get close to it to go back off. It That happens when there's not enough ventilation. Uh, Remember that time you killed me because you didn't have any ventilation? I died from smoke inhalation. <laughs> I've never killed you. You killed me, yeah. You built the fire. That makes you're the one responsible for it. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs>
I was watching videos on tiny houses, like how to make a house with yeah. 300 yeah. wood. That kind of interesting. They got really creative. I like them because they're like five minute videos. I didn't have to waste a lot of time on it. Yeah. I know. I think I've seen those. One person cheated and used a troll cave. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Right? <laughs> yep. I didn't consider it cheating. I thought it was pretty crafty. I then another get person to my tried. Other house. Huh? I gotta get to the other house to repair this uh, axe. It's a bronze axe. You need to take your boat to go do that? Nope, nope. It's right here. Oh, it's really close, but just too far into the forest. Yeah, it's just into the forest. Did, uh, so I got here and I had no certling cores or anything and all my gear starting to break so I needed to get 10 certling cores to uh, make a make a forge so I could repair my stuff these spray doors are just bugging the heck out of me um, so I went into my first uh, crypt Man, I got so... The first crypt, I got one Serling Core. I was annoyed. But the next crypt, I got like 11. Wow. Yeah. The last playthrough I was doing, every crypt had the door open with a ghost in it. Oh, so wow. as soon as I get get to the doorway, the ghost would kill me. And then the very next crypt, same thing, ghost with an open door. Ooh, I'm being raided. I'm just getting out of here. I don't care. Raid it all you want. I repaired my my axe. That's all I cared about. <laughs> you can have the base. They're probably gonna tear it down though. I don't care. It was basically just a temporary This game is so much more enjoyable with the controller. Is it? Yeah. It is annoying with the computer you can't look around. You run to the direction you're trying to look around in. Yeah. Okay, now that I'm getting off, you have a good night. Yeah, I think I'm about to go to bed, too. Sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.